Hi guys, it's Patricia and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Easter collection, specifically the three scents for the Easter collection that are being released Monday, March the 6th. So I didn't do first sniffs, but I thought I already have done a tester Tuesday on Pinkberry Fluff and I can talk to you about all three scents and I did warm all three so I can let you know. So just to let you know before we get into the scents, there is a buddy coming, Rosalina the Rabbit. And we have a mini warmer, which is very popular. I've heard a lot of buzz about people being interested the Cotton Meadow Mini Warmer, and a returning warmer from last year, Gnome for Easter. All right, so let's talk about the Easter three-pack bundle. It consists of three bars that you have to buy in a bundle. It is 17 US or 23 Canadian. We have Mandarin Zest, Pinkberry Fluff, and Violet Spun Sugar. Now, a way of getting around the three-pack bundle is putting them into your Scentsy Club whichever ones you're interested in and getting them that way. That way you can just get them singly. All right, so let's talk about each one. So the first one I have is Mandarin Zest. This one is almost a pretty light yellow colored wax. The scent description says sweet mandarin and watery pear bring out sunshine and blue skies with a hint of vanilla. I think that's a great scent description because there's a little bit of mandarin and there's definitely lots of vanilla. And then there's this bright, fresh kind of watery pear pleasantry. <laughs> Let me just see what I have written down here. Uh, the set description is very accurate. It's vanilla heavy. There's just a little twinge of mandarin zest and, because it's softened by that vanilla. Now, for me, scent appeal is very high on this. I really, really like it, but it is a very light scent. If you're someone that likes very light scents, I think this is going to be the one for you. And they usually do put a light, a medium, and a strong, or variations of that within a collection. So for me, not strong enough. I have notes here in Drew's room. It was about 4 to 5 out of 10. And I, I left it going about a day, a little bit over a day, but roughly a 20-hour day. And the other spot I warmed it was the kids' bathroom. It was about 3 or 4 out of 10 there, so shocker. And I left it going about a day there. So I have notes here. It's very gentle, delicate. This is what I would call a work wax. My work does not have any scent. So something like this, I might be able to use there because I would be able to pick it up. But if you're someone that likes lots of scent in your home, then this one might get lost, unfortunately. Good scent, just a little too light for me in my home. That's Mandarin Zest. All right, scent number two in the collection is Pink Berry Fluff. And I have done a more thorough Tester Tuesday, you know, deep dive into this scent. This one's the Pretty Pink Wax. And Scentsy says pinkberry, marshmallow, and vanilla bean swirl in an airy, irresistible combination. So it is all those things. A pinkberry is actually a sweetened, like bright fuchsia version of a blueberry. So blueberries are kind of sour. It's a little more sweetened. Then you get the marshmallow and the vanilla, which kind of lightens it up. It's a very fluffy, <laughs> it's a great name. It's a very fluffy, creamy scent, but there is an underlying body care tone to it. Almost like a feminine teenager into 20s body spray that kind of scent it's very pleasant uh, i liked it strength was about five to six out of ten in the two spots that i warmed it longevity was a couple of days and i think if you're someone that likes perfumey feminine scents that have a tiny tiny berry influence but mostly it's a creamy vanilla perfumey scent then i think this is the way to go so that is pink berry fluff all right, so let's talk about our third scent in the collection. It is Violet Spun Sugar. This is a pretty mauve violet colored wax. Kind of reminds me of my Holly hobby set as a child. So Sensi describes this as tart, cloudberries, meet violet water, and spun sugar for a celebration of whimsy. So I would say this was definitely the strongest scent of the, out of the three for me. I wasn't really sure what I was going to think of it because I'm not really big on violet. But I put it in the warmer, I put it in Drew's room, four cubes, and I kind of forgot about it. And I went downstairs and I kind of walked in and I was like, oh, <laughs> I really, really enjoyed it. Now, I must say, as it warmed, it did change. So at the beginning, it's kind of like a violet sugar candy. As it warms, a little bit of the powdery, airy tone creeps in with the violet. So I actually preferred it much better early on. I would say strength was between seven and eight easily. And I warmed it in Drew's room and I also warmed it a cube in my laundry room. Now each spot I left about a day and a half. It definitely is like strong at the beginning and then it fades a little bit. So when it's in that powdery violet stage, it's it's maybe like three or four to ten. But maybe the first 10 to 12 hours, it's it's quite a bit stronger. So it kind of reminded me of a scent that VCS used to have, and I don't know the name. 
but I was just okay on that scent. So I definitely like this one better. And I think I'm going to put this one in my club to get maybe get another bar. So performance was probably the best, but I can see this one being a little bit of a risky scent for some people because it is kind of tart and sharp and kind of shrill. But, but And I, I, I may sound negative when I say that, but I really enjoyed this. But if you're someone that's prone to headaches, this one might be a, one that you struggle with. But remember, any of these scents you can always try individually in your Scentsy Club and kind of go from there. And by putting them in your Scentsy Club, they're there until you remove them. So you have time to warm them. So anyway, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.